So we have an MD-11 with 75 metric tons of humanitarian supplies. 40 tons of uh, RUTF is ready to use therapeutic food for the children uh, suffering from severe malnutrition. And we have also 35 metric tons of um, water and sanitation equipment and also health kits. This flight is leaving today Copenhagen. We are uh, Tuesday 14th April and will land in Sana in the afternoon. This is the second flight UNICEF is sending now over the last week uh, into Sana. This is a, a, a huge outcome. Our country office on the ground will receive the, co the cargo and will start to distribute as they did for the first flight landing last week. The situation is really difficult. We have a, a small window to land. The condition of the children are really difficult. This is the, uh, the fourth humanitarian cargo landing over the last 10 days. Um, children and, and population is in dying need of humanitarian supplies. So we succeeded to have uh, two flights now into Sana and we're looking at additional supplies to be sent as soon as possible also. The big challenge is to obtain a humanitarian uh, corridor for getting humanitarian cargo landing into Sana. Uh, the number of authorization, we have a good collaboration with the different government that permitted the second flight to land in Sana. The second challenge will be the in-country logistic distribution. Our, our colleagues from the country office, from UNICEF country office on the ground have distributed already the first uh, 30 metric tons, uh, 16, sorry, 16 metric tons that landed last week. This will be another challenge to distribute the 75 metric tons. We have some partners on the ground with UNI UNICEF and the humanitarian world needs more and more partners on the ground to help the population in dying needs of health supplies, water and sanitation supplies, nutrition commodities as well.